Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I am super excited to announce this 5 days amazing crash course on Python programming language for data science and generative AI. So in this specific video, I will be talking about all the information like how we are going to cover this and what all discussions we are going to happen in day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5. And along with this, where all the materials will be available. This is a complete free crash course. Uh, so I would suggest go ahead and share this particular video with every one of you out there because I've been teaching a lot of many people, you know, many people are also coming and learning from me uh, related to agentic AI and all, but the fundamental concepts of how we can use Python programming language in terms of modular coding is still lagging. You know, many, many people don't know what is Anaconda, how do we create packages, how do we create environments, how do we handle this, how do we probably go ahead with logging and exception. There are many more things where the fundamental concepts is not at all clear. So that is the reason we are coming up with this specific crash course. Now let me go ahead and probably discuss more about this. But before we go ahead, proceed with this particular video, please make sure that you provide at least 1000 likes and more than 100 plus comments so that this video reaches for everyone since it is completely for free. And uh, you know, here we are going to have this session completely live in my YouTube channel. So let me quickly go ahead and share my screen. So here you'll be seeing that uh, this is the dashboard where you can go ahead and register. It is completely for free. Okay, so we are going to start this from February 8th, right? Before I had put the date to 10th, but now I have updated it. February 8th, uh, that is tomorrow. Uh, we are going to have this particular session. It will be from 8 p.m. IST. So it will be somewhere around two hours session. Uh, all the materials will be uploaded in a dashboard. Sorry for this particular spelling. I will update it. Uh, the crash course offers an intensive five-day journey. Each two hours live session will combine quick theory overs in interacting coding examples and live Q&A. Uh, here we are going to cover a lot many topics which will be specific for industries, industry grade projects. It will not be basics. If you are thinking, Krish, I will come and teach how to open Jupyter Notebook. No, no, no. We will be writing all the code in .py file, how the modular coding will happen, each and everything will go in that way. I will be discussing more about it like what we are going to discuss in day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5 also. But overall, here we will be showing how to create or work with environments, manage packages, uh, modular coding with oops, logging and exception handling, getting started and building Gen AI apps with LLMs, then becoming better in data structures usage. So everything in short we will be covering, okay. And uh, here, let me just go ahead and discuss what we are going to happen in day one, right? So uh, in any session, any batches that also I teach, right? Many, many people find out difficulties in understanding how to probably go ahead and create environments, right? So here we are going to talk about environments. We are going to talk about IDs, how to probably use, which is the best ID to use. Um, uh, and uh, while we are creating packages, right, how to maintain those packages, which is super important, what kind of configurations we specifically use, what kind of environment variables we specifically use, what is the best standard practices, uh, sorry, when I say environment, this is environment variables, right, ENV variables, because uh, whenever we are developing some LLM applications, we definitely require different kind of keys. How that particular environment keys needs to be created, everything will be discussed. When I talk about configuration, uh, what is the best modular structure we basically use to implement any kind of project that will also discuss, right? Day two, uh, in the day two, I will also be covering concepts related to OOPS. Now, when we talk about OOPS here, I'm going to completely focus on modular coding, right? Modular coding. Now in this OOPS, uh, most of the time, whenever we talk about, we are going to talk about classes, we are going to talk about data class, we are going to talk with respect to a structure of end-to-end -end ML project, right? End-to-end -end machine learning or Gen AI project, right? So this, like what should be a skeleton of a machine learning project? What should be a skeleton of a Gen AI projects? How many different types of configuration files we specifically use? Uh, how do we follow a complete end-to-end -end machine learning project or end-to-end -end, uh, data science project life cycle, right? So that part also I'm going to discuss. And based on that, how we are going to derive the entire structure of the code right? Structure of the code that we are going to specifically discuss, right? So this will basically give you an idea like how people specifically work in the industry. Here, I'll also be going to show you like how you can go ahead with the GitHub integration, right? Uh, GitHub integration, 
so what is that yaml file that we basically create in the github you know how do we basically initiate the ci cd pipelines that will also be discussed so this is not just only for basics you know basic things here i'm not telling you that how i'll show you how to probably create variables how to use this pandas package numpy package matplotlib package no I've created those kind of videos already in my YouTube channel. This particular crash course is a path, is a step to make you industry ready. That is my main aim, which many, many people lack. Even people who come for my courses, you know, I usually say, hey, these are the prerequisites, please learn and come. But many people lack on that. And that is the reason why I am coming from this particular initiative for everyone completely for free, right? Now, after we cover day two, the day three will be specifically related to entire data structures. What are the important data structures from basic to advanced? We are going to cover this, right? Entire basic data structures. Basic to advanced data structure, uh, let's say that I'm going to probably cover lists, dictionaries, uh, uh, stack queues, how this data structure is specifically used with respect to a real world industry use case. Because here also we are just going to write modular coding, okay? I'm just not going to focus on Jupyter Notebook only. Yeah, some of the examples just to showcase for you, I will be focusing on Jupyter Notebook and all, okay? Then let's go to the day four. In day four, I will be introducing you to LLM models. Uh, how a specific LLM models with respect to Gen AI use cases we will be specifically using. Here we are going to focus on ML projects. Here we are going to focus on so ML projects basically means I'm not going to implement an end-to-end -end ML project, but we'll be seeing a generic structure based on the problem statement that you specifically have. Because here when we are doing this ML project, right, we'll also focus on database integration. We will be focusing on database integration because that is the most important step, right? Then here, whenever we talk about LLM models, I'm just going to probably talk about a generic Gen AI project structure, right? Project structure. And which is the most efficient, most efficient uh, uh, way to probably create that particular project structure with respect to configuration. All those things we are going to discuss over here, right? Discuss over here. And finally, in the day five, we will have the day five i'm just keeping for your feedbacks what additional things you specifically want you can just let me know right so this is the overall agenda that i'm going to probably keep up but make sure that you write down your comments in the description of this particular video or in the comment section of this particular video what additional things you specifically want right here i have probably started for five days i'm okay to extend it for another two to three days if you have any more topics but one important thing is that i will be taking all this session with live classes and along with the live classes we are going to have a lot of interaction right interaction so that is the most important thing so please make sure that you keep your laptop ready uh, have one additional monitor so that you see my video type along with me do the coding all the materials will be shared in the class along with that it will also be uploaded in this specific dashboard so everything uh, i will be sharing this in the description of this particular video as this is a complete free initiative please guys support me to share with many of you as possible because this kind of activities we are already doing from past you know, three to four months, we are coming up also, we have also come up with an agentic AI free course. Now, Python, what is basically lacking in the community? I'm trying to probably come up with that so that many people will be able to learn and use this particular benefits to grow. And we will grow together in this specific industry where a lot of job opportunities will be there specifically related to general AI, right? So I hope you like this particular video. This was it from my side. I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one doll. Take care. Bye-bye. And please definitely make sure to keep that like target of 1000 and as many comments as you can. I will see you in the next video. That is tomorrow we'll have, we'll have this particular live session. Thank you. Take care.